Road America. And I have hopped into the Spec Racer 4. A really, really uh, down in popularity car these days, it seems like. But when I first started road racing, I used to freaking love racing this thing around. Um, this track, however, seems like it's way too big for it. So that'll be interesting to see how it races with this. Um, but I have not been in this car for like five years. But like I said, when I first started road racing, this was the car I drove. This and the MX-5. And I really loved racing this. We had some awesome racing. Used to get a lot of really fun racing. This is like an OG uh, road car for iRacing. This and the Skip Barber. And I am completely missing my braking point there. Um, and I never ran the Skip Barber, and I still haven't ever run the Skip Barber. Um, but I have run this a lot, or I used to, and I used to really enjoy it. Um, I have some setup in here that says it's for Daytona that I downloaded in like 2018. No idea where it came from. I probably got it off the forums. Um, I was running baseline in practice, so I'm just trying to see how this feels. I'm most likely going to be one of the slowest cars out here but that's fine uh, I'm just here to have fun we'll see what we can get I am the number four car I think we got like 11 people in here I was looking to race this earlier in the week because it is the end of the season and there's really not a lot of interesting combos to run right now at least it seems like did I say early in the season it's late in the season so we're getting to that kind of grind, grog, end of the season kind of rut. Looking for random things to run. And I felt like running a road race. And uh, I saw this actually had a decent amount of people in it. I looked earlier in the week, like I said, and there was only like three people signed up. But this one had like 11. So I thought, hey, I don't, I'll jump into that and run that and see how that's gonna race probably not great we'll probably the whole field will probably just pull away from us within the first couple corners and then we'll never see anybody but you never know it might be fun One more lap. I'm interested to see what time this is 234 that's what I ran in practice and you can see we're about five seconds off the pace of the front guy so not gonna put a lap in um, but that 234 actually came when I overdrove this hairpin down here so this tight left-hander, so that's actually not too bad of a lap, I don't think. My best lap I could do on the baseline was a 234 earlier. So I guess this setup's just a little bit faster. I'll show you my setups folder. It's all stuff that was downloaded in 2018. I have no, no memory of where they came from. Some of them I might have modified myself, but you know I had no freaking idea what I was doing, so <laughs> they're probably not good. Okay, that was a little bit better there. How much time we got left? 112. Probably not going to get around again. This track is massive. We're doing like two and a half minute laps, and we have ten laps. I don't remember these races in this car being very long. I remember them being... I think they were the Class D series. And they probably still are, but I remember them not being very, very long races. There's... Pretty much the MX-5 for the rookies, and then you move up and you run this, or Skip Barber, or whatever. We didn't have as many open-wheel road cars as we do now. Well, and we didn't have any of the new road, car road cars. We had, like, five, I want to say. Not a, a huge selection. I don't even think we had the Porsche when I first started road racing. And that was just in 2018. I, I've had iRacing since 2012, but I didn't ever try road racing until 2018. Do you want to put that into perspective? So I'm not experienced on the roadside, at least as much as I am on uh, oval. So if we had put in that lap, uh, we would have qualified exactly where we're starting, P8. 
So that's fine. I'm just going to look to keep it on track and not wreck myself or anybody else. Having a fun race here in the Spec Racer. Haven't been in here in a long time. Look at my setups. 2018. I guess I ran in February 2019. Don't remember that at all. There's February 2018. We're running this Daytona version 3 setup. No idea where it came from. Somebody on the forums. So apologies if you don't want me showing this five-year-old set. Almost six years old. But there it is. I'm sure there's better stuff out there now. Oh, and this is standing start too, isn't it? Plenty of fuel to finish the race. Let's turn off all the tires. We do get a fast repair. We will not be fighting for the podium, sir. We will not be fighting for the podium. <laughs> We're here in the Spec Racer Ford. I used to be able to fight for the podium, but I also used to be a lot lower I rating. And there used to be more than one split. I'm sure I will not be gaining much in this one unless there's a few wrecks, which there could be. Could be some people driving off, you never know. Short field here. I would not be surprised if the people behind us are quicker than us. We might just need to let them by and then just try and pick up scragglers or just try and keep up. I have no idea how this is going to be. We are getting ready to go green here right from the line. Green flag, green flag. I think I remember you we used to need to, to use time the time clutch time. to shift as well, to upshift and downshift. I think that used to be a thing in this car. I don't know. But I know you don't have to do it now, obviously. All right. Are we going to get run over here? we got to make sure we're not running anybody over. Or on your right. Clear on the right. Hey, everybody's being kind of good. The 8 car tried right. to get to the right of the 6, but the 6 kind of pinched him off. 8 car checked up for him. Got one on your right. Stay left. I didn't need to downshift a second there. We have the 9 going right. to our right. Left. Can't overdrive this hairpin here. Stay left. I'm just gonna Clear lift. On the right. It's just being defensive. Got one on your right. Somebody has gone off right. up ahead. All clear, all clear. Oop. Got one on your right. Clear on the right. Just tiptoe around here. Not looking to pass the eight immediately, even though he's being super defensive. But I honestly doubt I'm on your right. gonna be quicker all than clear, he is. All clear. Same with the 9 car. I'm not going to be trying to hold him off too aggressively. We are locked in a tight battle here. This might just be a pretty good race. We might, with the draft, might be real close to people the whole time. So I really don't get it to turn. I should have been in second gear there. Let's keep it in third. Try and get a good exit without driving off the track. I was kind of struggling with this corner in practice, and I really struggle right there. Nine car is going to get a run. Well, almost did. Trying to get a run there. Can we catch back up? Oh, call that an off track. I was not off the track. <laughs> Come on. We are losing touch with these guys. And we are driving off. And Red card. Good timing for right. that because they all wrecked the right there. Right. Well done, dude. Well done. Car on your right. Will damage. Good. Good work, all number clear, seven. Thank you. I don't know if it was Stop a good off. thing that we went straight off right there because the whole track was blocked or what. I don't think we gained anything. Back in there. But that was. Dude, a, you hit me in the side. You got one on your right. I think the five is damaged. Clear on the right. He's got some significant oh, got damage. Replay. We'll check it at the end, buddy. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we got lucky or got unlucky, but uh, we go straight off. I mean, we were going off anyway. I completely missed it. That is my worst corner on iRacing, that uh, right-hander on the backstretch of Road America. Now we're way far back. Let's see if we can catch up at all. There could be more wrecking as well. They all got get, got back going pretty quickly, honestly. That didn't seem to be anybody wrecked except for the five car I think somebody drove off ahead both of these guys drove off ahead eight car up there in the grass the 11 just got back on the yeah, track on right. he's lost some all momentum clear, all clear. 
Let's just try and get ninth. <laughs> Let's make ninth our goal. My I rating for the road side is way too high right now anyway. It's over 2,000 and I am not a 2,000 I rated road driver, I do not believe. So I do not care to lose some. But who knows if we can keep it on track. We have not done well so far, but if we can from here, we might get some free spots. We're back to the eight car. And he's driven off again. You got one on your right. All clear. So we'll all pull clear. away from him. But he'll probably be back to us, if I had to guess, especially since I'm struggling on this second section of the lap. Two seconds behind us. Oh, the 8 car, or the, the 11 car actually got past the 8 car. Uh, just a little lift. Seriously, Six? Come on. Okay, must have had another wreck up ahead. There is. We got one guy sitting there. We got one guy completely go broken go here. Go right. Whenever they disconnect the after a wreck, that's called the pop of shame. All right, that was the third place car, or the six. I really got to be careful on brake. Whatever's with this setup, I don't know if it's a brake bias or what, but it's it's locking up real quick on brakes. So I need to uh, watch that. Seven. How much damage do I have? Six car has a ton of damage behind us, but he is actually uh, uh, yeah, he keeping up, bent up there. and gaining. He gained on us out of yeah, that corner. There's a 232. Two. We're up to P6 right now, I believe. P7, maybe? Alright, thanks, Seven. Yeah, they are five and six ahead of us. They just swapped right after the line. See how you draft on the back. Alright. There's three cars behind us that are all catching up. Actually, while you back there, check on me. I forgot that we ran into the back. But we are gaining a little bit on the 7 and 10. Six cars are going to get back here. We're not going to fight him. We know he's quicker than us. Man. A lot of understeer with this car. Very sluggish feeling. I'm surprised the six is able to keep up with us with no front end whatsoever. <laughs> I thought he would have been toast down those long straightaways. But not so. The 11 and the 8 back there have driven off again. So as long as we don't do that, get the 6 by us. Just gonna let him go. All clear, all clear. We got plenty of room behind us. Maybe we can use him to learn something and draft to get to these guys or I'll drive off again. Yeah, that's fine. Barely any of the car over the rumble strip, but that's a 1x for you. Okay. I'm not going to pass him. Just going to be trying to draft, but I don't want to run him over into this corner. Well, maybe he is really slow down the straights. I don't know. We had to lift a ton there. But he was catching us with the draft, so I don't know. Maybe draft is just huge. No idea. I would think with a car like this size, at a track this big, there would be quite a bit of draft. 29.2, that's crazy. I don't want to throw a yellow. We're just going to ride behind him for now, I guess. With the way this draft is, we could just pass him right on the last lap. If we can keep up with him. Get that big run. I don't know. I'm surprised we are gaining this much. Maybe we should just get around him and do the leapfrog like we did in the IR01. Should not shift a second there. 
Maybe the six car is hurt really bad with the damage. We're just as slow as he is undamaged. So I guess we'll go for the pass again. On your right. They're going for the pass up there as well. All clear, all clear. You got one on your right. Clear on the right. Well, there's another 1x. I guess we're just going to have a race against this guy the whole time. Clear on the left. I'd like to stop getting 1x's though if we could help it. And we're in P8. Which I think is exactly where we started. I shifted to fourth there. That's going to hurt us mid corner here. That is not a good corner for me in this car. I have not figured out the line to run there. Okay, 3.3 ahead. They're racing back and forth as well. It's another reason why I don't want to try and pass the six, but look how much we gain on them, and just crazy. I have to hit the brakes on the straightaway. But we gained like a whole second on those two up there, so I'm just going to get back into the battle with those guys, see if we can both get up there, and then maybe something will happen with the six car and the ten again. Maybe I'll be so slow out of the final corner that I won't see them again. <laughs> You're losing on the car oh, be quiet. I'll get right back up there. They're going to be battling. They're snaking down the straightaway with draft. Looks like you're running just fine, buddy. Well, the guy's driving off. Or getting behind the six to have a little payback, I don't know. Or maybe just getting behind the six so the six doesn't run them over. Come on, turn. It sounded like the six just overdrove the corner and uh, got into the back of them and made the ten unhappy. <laughs> because the ten's got a big wrinkle on the rear end and the six has no front end left, so. Could have been all it was. But see, this is the thing with this car, though. You can just... No matter what happens, it seems like you can always find yourself in a race with cars. Like, even a track this big, where you think you just get spread out and never see anybody with cars this small. But we're just... we got four-car race right here. And they've been in... A few wrecks. I've driven off a couple times. That was almost another 1x. This car always provided really fun racing. You'd always have a battle. And apparently they haven't updated it since 2018 because I can still use a 2018 set and run just fine. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta be careful. All clear, all clear. Not to overdrive this. Okay, we didn't. We underdrove it. The 8 car has caught back up behind us, I just noticed. Behind the 10 car. We need to try and have a good couple corners here, see if we can pull away. Somebody just wrecked. Left. The seven. The I don't know if the six was involved in that or not. So we gained two spots that lap. The six maybe ran into him. I didn't hear anything over voice, so maybe he just self-spun. We're in sixth place. Can we keep that? Probably not. No idea, though. We'll try our best. Eight cars flying up here now. Out of nowhere.
man just doesn't like to turn. A car is going to get the run on us. Ten pro car probably will as well. Car on your left. Stay right. No chance holding off the draft there. We'll just let off All for him. Clear, the only reason we got ahead of him anyway is because he drove off. Which he might do again, so... All right, let's see if we can put in a couple good laps here, pull away from the 10 car. But we're coming to the the me not being good section of the track, which you can probably say about the whole track, but the, these next corners coming up in particular, I am very poor. Road America, oh, I missed a downshift. That's gonna hurt. Road America is not one of my favorites. Um, I much prefer Road Atlanta, but it seems like we drive Road America way more than Road Atlanta. I don't know. Maybe that's just, be that's just because NASCAR came here, and I run mostly NASCAR stuff. Maybe that's why I think that. Maybe that's not the case, really. Either way, this track is huge. <laughs> Big draft on the eight, not going to look to pass him, especially that late in the braking zone. Come on, turn! You got to lift all the way off to get the thing to rotate. Don't if you can hit if you can angle yourself into that corner right, you don't really have to brake or have to lift even. I think we're about to be in seventh. The fourth place car, the number three, he's 17 and a half seconds up. Six cars almost three seconds ahead. But maybe the eight will get to him and they'll start racing and that'll get us back into the, that battle. I don't know. This draft is huge. We got over almost two seconds to the guy behind us now. This would be a fun viewer time slot to do. If they went to some fun tracks, this would be a fun car to run with everybody. Because this car is really, it does not seem as popular as it used to be. It used to be a really popular car, um, but it does not seem to have that kind of participation anymore. Which is a shame. I mean, it's a very, very old car in terms of iRacing. But I think the racing's still amazing. I still think it's pretty fun. And it doesn't seem as difficult as it used to. I remember... It, I think you used to be able to spin out a lot easier. Now it's, it seems way more gripped up. Maybe it's just a different tire model than I, we ran back then. I don't know, but this is a fun car, I think. This and the Skip Barber used to be the thing everyone on the roadside wanted to run because the racing was so much fun. Now you got so many other options for road that it's kind of fallen by the wayside. And the Skip Barber's kind of been outclassed by a bunch of other new open wheelers. Low-powered open wheelers. There's like 1,500 of them you can choose from, all looking pretty much identical. <laughs> the A car is going to get to him, especially with the draft. We'll see if anything happens. Maybe a little tiny lift. They're just walking away from me, though. I cannot hardly keep up. We should get some draft here. Uh, they're just slightly out of draft range. But if they get side by side, that'll help. Yeah, they're, they just came out of draft range out of that final corner. And I'm not going to get anything really down the straightaway. We just did a 231, though. Eight car going for the pass. He completes it. Pretty quickly with that draft. Six car will probably be looking to get back around him pretty quick.
Yeah, if you want this car to turn, you got to get completely out of throttle. You can't leave a little throttle into it, which is kind of backwards of what I'm used to. It seems like it shoves the nose massively with a little throttle in it. Eight car going defensive again into the left hander up here. Six car going to his outside. They're side by side. They're keeping it clean though. For now. We're getting caught back up. Six car huge crossover into the grass, but cannot get back side by side with them. Either way, we're watching a pretty fun race. <laughs> Even if we're not really a part of it. Six car really throwing it in there. He might be shifting to first. The way his car's jumping sideways. I just they seem like they can turn so much better through that through that carousel than we do. Oh, massive shove, massive shove, get it off. <sighs> Dang it. I wasn't off track. You saw I was not off track. <laughs> Alright. We're being real stingy with the 1Xs here. We are now in this battle. One car has taken the lead. Six car runs into the back of the eight. Again, running into the back of somebody. If that's what he did to the ten. Interesting. But he's still behind us by three seconds now. Now do I just sit behind the eight? And just try and time it so we get around him? Well, I was going to sit behind him, but he decided to block. Still there. All clear, all clear. I'd rather not run too wide down the straightaway when we could just draft and get away from these guys. That's fine. We got two to go. We are in sixth. Top five would be really cool. I'm just going to let him keep going defensive, and uh, maybe one of these times he'll overdrive it, trying to enter really shallow. I have no need to try and make a move, at least yet. I'm surprised the six... When he got in the back of him, it didn't just send the eight completely off the track. All right, three seconds behind us. It's the seven now. Car on your right. And we're just gonna flat out clear him here. Still there. But he'll get us right back. Clear on the right. Or on your right. All clear, Mostly all clear. because he's entering corners a lot harder than I am. Watch the gravel. But he's able to get it to stick. There we go. I didn't lift that time. I don't know what kind of apex that was. That was terrible. <laughs> I've been struggling so bad in those last two corners. White flag, one more left to go. Well, the last three corners. White flag. We got to get a good final sector of the lap to be in a position where we could pass the eight on the straightaway here. He's much better on the final section. Right now we're in sixth. That's better than I thought I was going to do. Fortunately, 
Unfortunately, we have 5x from just off tracks. Which is not what I wanted. Particularly. Massive shove, that's bad. Still gonna get a huge run on him though with the draft. I wanted him, I wanted to be close enough where he'd go left and maybe overdrive this corner this time. But I'm not close enough. Looks like he's still gonna block. Even though I'm like three car lengths back. That's fine. I'm not going to dive it in on you, but if you want to compromise your corner entry, totally up to you. We're actually catching the three up there, I just noticed. Or he might have driven off. That was bad. Missed that completely. We're not going to be close enough to do anything, I doubt. wasn't terrible, but he's getting too far away. Though he did nearly drive off there. He had to slow down quite a bit. You got one on your right. Still there? Hold your line. All clear, all clear. You got one on your right. All clear, and we all nearly clear. drive off. So that's not good. Try and get a decent run here, get a good exit. He's going to be too far ahead. I had to be within like three tenths to have a chance here. It's going to be too far now to go. Oh well. We get sixth place, better than I thought we were going to do. So that's fine. There's the flag, it's over. And, even on job, a freaking driver. massive track with tiny cars, we pretty much had a race on our hands the whole time. And we drove off at the beginning. So, still a fun race. We weren't fast. I didn't think we were going to be fast. Especially at a bigger track like this. Put us on a smaller track, we'd have a little bit more of a chance, I think. But, uh, still a fun race. P6, pretty much smack in the middle. Uh, maybe could have had a chance at the top five had we been able to c have a couple more better corners behind the eight car. I just kind of sucked that last lap. I ran a 32.6. Best lap was a 31.8. If we could have done that the whole time, we would have been pretty good. Does it even show our tire data? I guess it does. 98, 97. Yeah. I can't believe... I mean, the draft must have been huge for the six to be able to keep up with us and have a big race. I mean, on a big track like this, if you get front-end damage like that, that usually just destroys you, but maybe the aero model on this car is just not great. I know the damage model isn't, but... Ooh, that's loud. Let's take a look at the incidents and uh, call that a good little end-of-the-season race to do. Fun. Jump in a car I haven't run in a long time. First up is the 5 getting into the 7. Is Was the 5 angry about that or the 7 angry about that? Because the 5 just ran into him there. And this is when we just drive off completely while this is happening. We were not going to make that, but you know what? Had I turned in normal like that, I would have either run into it or if I had slowed down a ton to try and turn in like now, we probably would have gotten run over by the 9 car. So... I think me missing the corner here was just about the only thing we could have done. Like, we don't get anything except a 1x. Just get to go drive in the gravel a bit, but all the people that were just in that wreck get right back around us. So we weren't lucky in that regard, but we're lucky to miss it, I think. The 5 car is just completely broken. He knows it head on into the wall there. He, he just went down pit road after that. 6 car loops it. He's running third. Nearly got the three car there. And then the 10 and the six. 10 
And the six, the six just not ready for the ten to slow down that much, I guess, and just runs straight into the back of them. Ten head on into the wall. And the six just loses his hood completely. Little tap of the tires. But still fast. The ten actually hit a ton into the Armco, but he still kept up with us for a while. He was racing ahead of us for a long time. So that was pretty significant damage for both of them, but they were not hurt too bad. Is that it? <laughs> oh my gosh. What a clean race. If you look at the incidents, it wasn't, but I guarantee you most of those were 1Xs for everybody. Wow. That is all the car contact. We get 6th place. Probably deserved... I mean, that's probably the best that we could have hoped for. We were probably 8th or ninth fastest at best. Uh, if we look at some of the people's fastest laps, what, were the, what was the 11's fastest? 32-1, maybe could have beat him. 32-9, maybe could have beat the 10 car on speed. Maybe the 7 car on speed. Well, maybe we finished right around where we were. The 6 car was quicker than us, and we beat him. So maybe we were 7th quickest. I don't know. Either way... That was a fun thing to jump into. We had a race pretty much the whole 10 laps. And, uh, yeah, it's a fun car. I might have to jump into it a couple more times if I can find uh, some actual races going off.